Hi! Welcome to Fallout 4. We're going to be grabbing the Le Quiff magazine, which gives Megaton hair, and you'll see that in a second. If you just want to grab the outfit, um, skip ahead to about the minute mark, and I'll show you the quickest way to get in. Uh, but if you want to see more, hang around after that, because uh, not only that, we've got a room full of safes. Uh, an iBot model, a fusion core, and a stealth boy in Fallon's department store as well. But this is what the uh, haircut looks like. If you have a hat on, obviously it changes. Um, it hides it like any other hair. You sort of get like a little lock coming down. Anyway, the easiest way to find this place, zoom out the map as far as you can go, and then go down to the bottom right, uh, the southeast quadrant, and then just in the middle of the map on the left, you'll see there Fallon's department store. Um, it's just west of Jamaica Plains. Yeah, there we go, Jamaica Plain. Uh, the Egret Tours Marina is to the west, uh, NNH, NH and m Freight Depot, Boston Police Department, um, Milton General Hospital, Shaw High School, all of those things around there. But the easiest way to find it is just move the map down there. Anyway, when you get here, likely you'll meet some super mutants. Um, watch out, there's one touchdown guy who's about to explode on the right there. Um, he's fighting various people. There's another one who's running towards you. Touchdown, buddy! If you shoot his arm, you'll explode that. Um, you can be about that distance away and not take damage. Uh, there's a few more guys there, but deal with them. When you've dealt with them, um, you might find a legendary Brotherhood uh, Paladin or another Brotherhood Paladin kicking around somewhere, but there's Fallon's. Um, so from the front of Fallon's, run around to the right. Come on. Chop, chop, you can do it. There we go. Run around to the right, and uh, you'll find that this is the hospital here with a kind of sky bridge across to those steps which lead up to the top of the parking garage. Now that's a whole separate mission which actually gets a hot rod magazine. We'll do that next and I'll link it in the annotations. But run up to the top here, there's a guy in this kind of diner up here, so deal with him. For me it was a super mutant warlord, I'm coming here at level 70 something, and I'm just using stupid weapons. But be aware of that, sneak attacks will definitely help. When you've looted him, he only had a sledgehammer for me. Head up these stairs here and look for the blue door. And in here uh, is a fusion core. This is the quickest way I'm coming back on a separate run, but grab that fusion core and then drop down here. And this is the quickest way to get to the Quiff magazine. Um, so open that door there. I was waiting for the texture to load in, but it didn't. Open here, you might want to duck. There's a couple of dogs and a mutant, super mutant with a uh, minigun usually here. There's the minigun guy. Um, I'm just finishing him off. Again, we'll come back at this a bit slower so you know where we are. But yeah, he's got a minigun high power shredding for me, two of them apparently. But in this octagonal room there, that's the ladder we just came down at the back there. In this octagonal room, on the table here, is the copy of Le Quiff. And that's everything you need to get the magazine. If you just want in and out, you may leave now. <laughs> uh, if you want more context, here's Fallon's here. So again, around to the right. I went up to check out the meat bags on my actual proper run in it. Meat bags! Uh, Yao Guy meat's always nice. They quite often have Radstag stew as well. But there are the parking stairs. Uh, there's the hospital in reference. If you fast travel to the hospital, you'll be really close by as well. Um, I was trying to find this last guy, but he's obviously up the top there. Up the top there. So up these parking steps. Get to the top there. Kill the dude in the diner. Deal with him however you want. Uh, loot him. There's some bits and pieces in there, but I'd already got them. And then head up here and you'll see the fusion core through there. So grab that. Uh, you can also loot these desks and stuff here, and I think there were some um, tools back on that that I grabbed them in a previous trip in here. Anyway, through here, duck. Uh, make sure your light's off. Stealth is the best approach. You're going to have two glowing mutant hounds, or sorry, two mutant hounds uh, here. Um, there's the other one. Um, if you can get stealth attacks so much, the better. I didn't quite want to use a pistol on that, I'm not sure. But then the dude with the uh, minigun comes around the corner here. I should have lined up with grenades or mines or something, but um, as it is, you can see I'm doing him almost no damage at all. While well, he's sitting there shredding me. Strangely, you occasionally get a sneak attack in, but uh, I was kind of standing right in the middle of that fight and I'm just getting a bit stupid. But the advantage of this is that as long as you stay hidden and um, don't make too much noise, I'm not going to take the minigun with me. You can turn your light on and have a good old sneak around up here, and the guys out in the main area won't hear you. So, uh, get the mutant for hound meat. But see, there's the uh, ladder that we took down in here, a quiff magazine. So, this is very much the slow approach. There it is, there. You've got a steamer trunk, and in here, a bunch of like asbestos fiberglass, sorry, uh, from the cigarettes. Lots of cigarettes and cigars in here, ashtrays for ceramic, there's some whiskey as well. Then head out this way and stick to the right hand wall, there's another great little room around here, uh, which you may as well get, and that's got a magnifying glass, a fuse, and a camera, and a bottle cap of mine. Uh, all of which are phenomenal for crystal. 
Now up here, there's a guy up top on the right. There's also a Protectron directly to my right. There's a Protectron on every floor that you might want to hack to help you clear the floors further down. But I'm standing right next to the Protectron at the moment. Um, these guys down here, I take them out. There we go. There's two of them. Uh, there we go. And there's another one there. And then there's two more way down in the pit. But while we're in here, uh, have a look around. There's some ceramics, some money, some bottle caps. Not much else. A duffel bag with some um, ammo and stuff. But mostly trash in here. Copper on the right in the form of that broken lamp uh, that you can grab as well. Then head down the stairs. Uh, depending on how many of the guys you've already killed, there's two or three on this level. Um, and then two or three down again. You'll see there, there's one and two. A grenade to kind of flush them out didn't really work, but got there eventually. There we go. So that's pretty much all of them that you're going to see for the next little while. Uh, there's one more here. Okay, so we just snuck around the side there. And I tend to always take uh, um, a companion with me. It's not always the smartest move because they get alerted very easily. We're going to swing around up this way. Now through here, there's actually a desk that I missed. You can tell there's not much else. Uh, but here, just to the right there, I look straight past it. That's got a uh, technical document and some other good bits and pieces on it. Nothing major. Um, but worth checking out, it's down to the left, over there at the end of the wall, there's a hole there. Um, so I missed that, for which I apologise. But come around here, up and over here, there are these four telephones with nothing but cigarette ashtrays in them and a cigarette machine. Um, so really not much loot in the way up there. Uh, trash can, there was some stuff in it. Two super mutants up here. Um, so I took a bit of a risky shot there, but went for a crit. Um, which nearly killed him, and it was a sneak attack crit, so it took off a goodly chunk of health. Sadly, the second shot missed. Should have saved it. Uh, that guy went down pretty easily, but yeah, this warlord's got a lot more health. Uh, but he goes down eventually. Crit to finish him off. No, nope, not quite. This is just a plasma pistol that's upgraded with all the top sniper stuff. Um, and you can see, even from some distance away, I can snipe pretty easily here. Anyway, this bathroom display room, there's some rad roaches there, three or four of them. You might get lucky and get a legendary one, you never know. Um, and then a couple of mutant hounds came charging up, you'll see there in a second, there's the first. And the second is just eating my leg, there. Uh, grab their meat, that's always good. Um, it cures a small amount of rads. Uh, and a bit of health. So if you don't have enough rads to warrant using a rad away, um, but you want a little cure, um, go and cook their meat. Any camping spot will do it. And chameleon combat on the right leg, I'd take that, except my right leg is uh, currently, um, I forget, time slowing. Time slowing? Time slowing. Anyway, check all these mirrors. Uh, they've got lots of great things in them. There's one on the other side of the wall here. Yeah. Uh, and then there's three over on a wall here. I always go the wrong way, there's one more mirror, but there are the three to the right right now, and I completely, I don't know how I avoid them. There, look up to the right, there. <laughs> three mirrors there. Anyway, head on out and back around to the left where we just killed those super mutants. First of all, this door on the left here. Pick this, because inside here, uh, there's another Protectron that you might want to fire up, because there's still some guys downstairs in the basement uh, that they might help with. Uh, there's a terminal you can hack. Um, that's the one that's going to fire up the, um, what is it, wind wars, wars, feed, feed, yeah, um, that's the one that activates the Protectron, um, so that's two Protectrons we've seen so far, filing cabinet there, bobby pin box, now, importantly, uh, right behind me there, this blue box there, is an eyebot model, so you can make that and a little eyebot will pop out, there we are, um, and you can put him down on a bench somewhere. There's not many of these in the game. There's five to collect in total. This, the robot parts model, Mr. Handy, Mr. Gutsy, Sentry Bot, and Protectron. Um, but this is where we shot those super mutants up before. On the left, uh, I think some bathrooms. Yeah, nothing of interest at all in there. Um, and then around here, there's a Nuka Cola machine, nothing in it. Uh, there is some, there are, so I should say, some stim packs here, and there might be a mutant corpse dude there. It's a cash till. Um, if you've got cap collector or ammo collector, those things are always worth checking out. But otherwise, it's lots of ceramic, tin, um, so aluminium and uh, steel. A couple more cigarette machines. But not really much of anything there. Um, don't forget to loot the corpses. Ammo, always useful. There's a bathroom over the other side. This one's a little trickier. Uh, a couple of stim packs there. But um, this here, see this chest? Don't open it because there's a makeshift bomb there. 
and a fusion thingy on the side. There we go, tension trigger there. So make sure you pull those off before you open that and get the explosives. Anyway, heading around here, that's the dead end. So what you can do is come down the stairs here. Um, we've killed the guys on the ground floor. Straight over is another bathroom. Nothing much in there to speak of. Camera on the floor in the far stall. But otherwise, nothing going on. Uh, Stimpaks on the wall there. Well, health anyway. Uh, stuff to craft. And this is the main entrance in that we didn't take. Uh, there's a cigarette machine there. Ladies' bathroom over this side. I assume it's the ladies. Oh no, that's the men's because there's, you're right, lots of baby rattle in the bit. Uh, some more cash and bits and pieces here. Shopping baskets are heavy for the amount of steel they give, so I wouldn't necessarily grab those. And then around into this room, there's a lantern, again, heavy for what they give. A locked ammo box that you might want to pick. Um, actually yes. got there. Didn't have much in. A couple of cash tills, one and two. And then uh, right by that, there is a safe on the wall that you might want to grab. It's advanced. Um, and there's just some general goodies in it, but nothing specific. Uh, this terminal just talks about the savings that you can make. Uh, it's a couple of adverts aimed at women. Um, bring this beautiful set piece home. Does your husband work late hours? Now's the time to show him how much you love him. Get in touch with a sales associate immediately. You'll notice him coming home earlier from work and earlier each day because he knows he can work successfully and comfortably each home, each from home. Is that the case? Uh, more copper there in the form of the broken light, but otherwise just ceramics, ashtrays, cups, that sort of stuff. Nothing major. Now, when you get to, there's a couple of bins I ignored, but when you get to this fountain, you want to head back up uh, one floor and then drop onto it from on top. There's a ray displayed across it with a chem box or a med box next to it. There, yeah, chem box, uh, which is worth looting. Uh, there's another uh, bin there with a shot glass in it. Woo! -hoo. Um, through here is the way down to the basement. We're not going to go there yet. We're going to head over this way to the right. There's a super mutant in here. Um, he's in this room here. There we go. You saw him running in there. Uh, he's got a sledgehammer. Don't worry too much about him. But he was an overlord for me, so he gave me a pretty hard time. So I got out Mr. Stoppy. Mr. Stoppy the shotgun, which is a double hit shotgun. Uh, in there, there's some cotton yarn on this one. At the end, uh, you'll have to pick a lock. I think it's an advanced one, but there's a stealth boy in there along with a dead settler. Uh, but really, you're going to want master lock picker when you come in here. There's a couple of master locks that you'll want to hack. Um, in there, not very much of anything, just some cans and other drubbins over the safe on the floor. Uh, ignore me, sorry. Let's get that safe, that's advanced. Uh, but yeah, there's one master safe that you're not going to be able to get with a key that we find in a little bit. Anyway, we're back around here. I ran back into the bathrooms after looting the meat bags, forgot I'd been in there. Um, and then head through to that room up here that I said is the way down to the basement. So that's as you're looking up at the fountain, take a left at the end instead of a right. Um, now around here up on top, there's not very much of anything. There's a bit of ceramics, but there is a big safe there that's master locked. Um, there isn't a key you can use to open that, unfortunately. Um, but there's nothing specific in it, so don't worry too much about that if you don't have master lock picking when you come here, but you might want to consider it. Down here there's two more guys, so if you're going for the sneaky approach, make sure to turn your light off. Berry Mentats might help because they highlight them as well. But they're wandering over there. Um, legs, limbs are always uh, higher damage, and if you can pick the limbs off, um, you get a, you know, free... Uh, you stun them, essentially. Yeah, you can sneak attack three times damage, but that's the last two down there. Now down here, I think my lights go on, there we go. Uh, we're looting these guys. I actually had to reload because you'll see I got stuck on this geometry up here. There's a chemistry station with a ammo box next to it there. And then I was trying to jump up here, um, and this is where I got stuck. Uh, so rather than... Um, well, I just reloaded. I had a save nearby, but there's the chemistry station and the ammo box again. There's the final protectron down there. And then uh, there's some bits and pieces here, but in this middle section here, uh, you can head around uh, here, and on the left is a master safe, but on the right you may notice a dead drop sign with an arrow in it. And if you look up there, there's a button. Push that, and in the distance there, that door has just opened. Um, we're going to go and have a look over there. There's two master safes and four advanced ones here. Um, but in this box, you've got Fallon storage key. If you don't have master lock picking, you can use that to open all of the safes in this room, but not the other one. Uh, so you can see master, master, advanced, 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 advanced. Um, if you grab the key, now all of these are unlockable. Oh, and there's some poor secretary, I guess, who was stuck in there. I just wanted to see if the key would work on this one, but it doesn't. You're going to have to pick that one by hand. Um, so get all the stuff out here. Again, nothing specific in here. Um, just good loot. Um, yeah, but a woman stuck in there with ham radio, poor thing. 
Uh, there is, there we go, eventually you'll get it, this master one. Um, it's a little finickety, again, nothing major in there that you can't get anywhere else, but just for the sake of completeness, um, it's not bad to have. And you should really get master lockpicking and hacking as soon as possible, because they pay for themselves in dividends. But anyway, that's it. After that, you can make your way out. So that was a stim pack, um, uh, it's a stim pack. Stealth Boy, Le Quiff Magazine, um, quite a lot of crystal um, and copper, so some rare loot in there. Um, the iBot model and uh, all the safes, I guess. Oh, and the fusion core on the roof, of course. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, on the left, don't know what we'll put there, probably access to the live stream, and on the right we'll do uh, the Hot Pink Hot Rodder magazine, which is located right near here in uh, the Funhouse. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!